Welcome back for another vid guys. This time we're going to look at some uh, horror magazines. Uh, I've got a big book collection from uh, the horror cinema, science fiction and crime films. Uh, but for now I thought I'd just show you the Fangorias uh, and there's like a Monster Times in there and stuff. So uh, and a hardback book Fangoria. So I'll show you now all my folders I've got of these and uh, if you know, there's any you want a close look at, let me know and I'll do a, a separate video for them because I've got so many, I'm not going to be flicking through each magazine. I'm just going to show you the covers, you know, so you can see what it's about, which what issue it is and, you know, what it covers and stuff. So uh, we'll take a look now, guys. Okay. Hopefully you won't get a sun glare on it. So first off is a um, Monster Times magazine from 1975. It's number 38. Uh, covers uh, Beware the Blob and uh, History of Giant Monsters and stuff, things like that, Makeup Masters. Uh, there's a bit on Conan there. So it covers, you know, comics as well, it's not just uh, horror movies, there's a bit of sci fi in there as well. Um, so it's cool, I got this as a free gift with um, the Sideshow Creature from the Black Lagoon figure. I got oh, a few years ago now from eBay. The seller was kind enough to. Uh, include this awesome magazine it's all in black and white you know um but it's it's nice some star trek uh photos and things there posters okay next uh, we've got the fangori one this is probably the earliest one i've got it's number 16 covers ghost story and uh, there's different makeup effects and stuff so um i think it's quite a regular one that one i know some of the issues are really hard to find um, but I've seen this in a few places. I got these from Chester. There's a comic book store there. So there's that one, number 16. Probably 1981, I think that one is, if I remember. Uh, same with this one. Uh, it's number 33. Uh, got the Keep, you know, behind the scenes of the Keep. Um, again, you know, effects and stuff. Zombie of the Month. Uh, so yeah, it covers a uh, classic horror as well. It's not just all the well at the time it was modern. It's I still consider it modern, um, but there's some Bela Lugosi books in there, and Boris Karloff books and stuff, White Zombie and all that. I love that kind of thing, guys, as you know. Uh, so that's that one, number thirty-three. There. This going into the mid eighties now, with. Uh, Jason, the Behind the Mask story, so it covers all the ones up to part five. Rick Baker's Werewolf, TV series, I think that one. Uh, the Hidden, uh, Pumpkin Head, things like that. Ghoulies 2. Cool. So, yeah, I think that's 985, that one, guys. I think it's number. Let's see what number it is. Well, it's. Uh, October, October 1985 anyway, cool, uh, number 85, and number 53 this one guys, a bit more clearer this time, um, got Hitcher, uh, retrospective of Night Living Dead, the original, because obviously this was before the remake was made, uh, Scream and Scream again, uh, Vincent Price and Hitchcock and all that, um, April Fool's Day there, uh, yeah, so good stuff, guys. Number 53. Like I said, if anyone wants to see a closer look at any of these magazines, just let me know and I'll do other videos on the actual magazines themselves. This one covers Pull Guys 2, as you can see. Uh, my girlfriend's favourite uh, ghost films, really. She loves the Pull Guys films. And this is number 54. Night of the Creeps in there. Critters 2, I think it's Critters 2, or was it the first one? I think it's the first one. Yeah, part one. Uh, there's John Agar into it. I like John Agar, he's awesome. Got a lot of his films, sci fi films and stuff. Uh, Invaders from Mars remake, which I'm not very keen on, I prefer the original. Uh, so, yeah, there's that one. Next, we've got uh, one about Dead Heat, a film I haven't seen before. Uh, I remember that one though, Dream Demon, British horror film, apparently. Uh, you got uh, 976 Evil, a Robert England film. Directed it. Uh, Monkey Shines, Crits 2, Sleepaway Camp, sequels and things. So yeah guys, um, 
if you like look at that one you know let us know uh, if you've got any of these magazines let me know what your thoughts are on them you know i i like all of them uh, as i said i am more of a classic horror fan but um i do really like the modern stuff as well it's just for me especially actors wise i've got more respect for like Bela Lugosi, Boris Karloff, Vincent Price. They've just got something that you don't really see these days, you know. Um, there's not loads of modern actors I'm into, really. I like Johnny Depp, he's cool. Uh, Christian Bale, you know, people like that. But for me, Bela and Boris and Peter Lorre and Humphrey Bogart, all that lot, you know, they'll, they'll always be the best, in my opinion. So yeah, uh, back onto the more modern things anyway guys, uh, Critters 2 there, uh, Jason 7, first look there, Fright Night 2, Bride of Reanimator, uh, Darigento as well, awesome. Okay, got the Horror Show, which was also known as House 3, uh, I've not seen that one, I've seen the first two House films, but I've not seen this Horror Show one. I think it's got Lance Henriksen in, I think. Uh, got Fly 2 there, and uh, the Nightmare on Sheet TV series, which didn't do so well. First few episodes are cool. I've got the um, Region 2 uh, Volume 1 DVD, which is okay. You know, it covers his... Uh, it's like a prequel to the first film, where they burn him, the parents burn him and stuff. It's pretty good. Um, Toby Hooper directed that one as well. So yeah, got Toxic Avenger 2, things like that, you know. Pet Cemetery. Uh, this is good stuff. Tell us when the crypt comes back. There. Put on the pendulum remake. Ghostbusters 2. Cool, I love Ghostbusters, they're awesome. Uh, there's some uh, Friday the 13th interviews and stuff in this one. So cool. That one. There's Bride of Reanimator. I think this is a quite common issue as well. Uh, I've seen this uh, on a few people's collections. Uh, you got Tremors, love Tremors. Tell us some Dark Side movie, Basket Case 2, Nightbreed. Look at Nightbreed there. Good stuff. There's one especially on the Tell us some Dark Side movie. Uh, I recently got it on DVD, but I've not watched it yet, so I don't know if it's uh, my cup of tea. It probably will be, though, because I like anthologies and things. So, yeah, uh, Spontaneous Combustion. Another film I've got, which I haven't watched yet, with uh, Brad Dorothin. And directed by Toby Hooper. Um, yeah, more on Nightbreed and things. Pretty cool. There's a poster for the movie. Pretty good. Uh, Gremlins 2. Looking at Dark Man. Class of 1999. I really like that film. That's cool. Bride of Reanimator is pretty good. Charles Play 2. Love the Chucky films. Well, the earlier ones. Another look at uh, Dark Man there. Film I haven't seen. I've heard so many good things about it. I just need to check it out one day. Uh, the remake, uh, Night Living Dead, which I love. Um, Arachnophobia, Maynard Cop 2. Love the Maynard Cop films. So yeah, Flatliners. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, Charles Play 2 now. This is number 98, by the way. Uh, you got Graveyard Shift, a film I've not seen for years. Um, didn't really take it in back in the day because I was only a little kid, so um, I've been meaning to see it again. So I don't know, I'll probably have a look on YouTube if it's on there. Okay, this issue is looking at it, Stephen King's It again, Night Living Dead remake, Predator 2, and Psycho 4. Jacob's Ladder as well. Okay, looking at Predator 2 in more detail on this one, guys. Um, number 99 there. Got Misery, got some more on Stephen King's It, love that film. Uh, Jacob's Ladder, and a uh, cool uh, picture of the uh, bat from Graveyard Shifter. Okay, looking at uh, vampires and things in this one, guys, and some cool articles on the model kits as well, the old screaming model kits, which uh, some of them still hold up well today, especially the pinhead, that pinhead uh, sculpt is amazing. Uh, there are some that I don't like. I like the Freddy uh, on the Leatherface ones, I think. I guess for the time they were pretty cool, you know, but looking at now what they can do now, it's, yeah, there's a lot better stuff out there now. 
Uh, this one's 103, by the way, guys. Omen 4, Look at the Haunted, American Psycho, the book, not the film, because it's way before the film was made. Uh, making Science of the Lambs. And look at Paul Nashi there. Anyone knows Paul Nashi, you know, like the Spanish Lon Chaney. Okay, looking at uh, Hellraiser 3 on this one, guys. I think this is another common one because I've seen this uh, image in a lot of uh, collections and stuff. Uh, number 110, this one. Looking at Memoirs of an Invisible Man. Uh, Adam's Family. Naked Lunch. Don't know that one. Is. I'm not seeing that one. It's a Cronenberg film, though. Cool. Is that one dodgy looking? Freddy mask on the back there. Okay, this one's 122. Uh, looking at Wes Craven's New Nightmare, but it was obviously before it was called that. This was called Nightmare 7. Dark Half, which bought two. Return of Living Dead 3, which I'm not a big fan of, really. I love the first two films, but I think it's so different from the first two. I think that's why I can't really get into it. Uh, and there's an update on Jason Goes to Hell there. Subspecies 2. So that's pretty cool, that one. Uh, looking at uh, Tales from the Crypt. Amityville, uh, no, the remake, I guess. Army of Darkness and Alien 3. Goes into a bit of sci-fi, this one, guys. Uh, which is evident with the uh, alien model kits on the back of some of the SUs there. Some good posters in that one as well. Right, so that's for the uh, first for the guys. I did say there was a lot, and there's more to come if you got the time to watch. So I just flick through these pretty quick because I know time's getting on. Okay, so we got uh, number 129. This one looks at full eclipse. Bit of a Wolverine wannabe there, <laughs> if you ask me. Uh, Adam's Valley Values, um, Coffin Joe. Looking at Coffin Joe and things. I know my friend uh, Gray made a uh, figure of him a while back. Custom figure. Coffin Joe, if anyone knows who he is. Um, yeah, it's it's not a very memorable um, issue, this one, in my experience, guys. I, know, I don't really flick back for this one much, really. Um, okay, looking at uh, Mary Shay's Frankenstein. This is number 136. Uh, Chainsaw Massacre. Another film, Richard Lynch, that's why I got this one, because it's got a Richard Lynch interview, and I really like Richard Lynch, thought he was awesome. Uh, one of my favourite of his films is uh, Bad Dreams, not a Freddy ripoff, <laughs> it's a really good film guys, so uh, check that out. you got got uh, Jack Nicholson interview as well, which is awesome, he likes horror films. Okay, this one, number 147, looking at uh, the new Halloween at the time, which was The Curse of Michael Myers, uh, which is not my favourite of the Halloweens. My favourite Halloween films are parts one and two. And I do like H2O. And uh, admittedly, I did like uh, Resurrection. I didn't think I was going to, but uh, my girlfriend had that in her collection. When we got together, she brought it with her, and uh, we watched it together, and I actually enjoyed it. So uh, it's not the best one by far, because the best one's the first one. Um, but I love part two just as much, because I think they just go so well together. Anyway, so looking at uh, Hellraiser Bloodline on that one. Film, I've not seen that one. I've heard mixed uh, reviews about that one. Uh, film, I've been looking forever on DVD for, and on YouTube. It's not on here yet. It's a 95 film called Night of the Scarecrow. Not Dark Night of the Scarecrow. That's a totally different film. But I remember seeing this years ago on uh, on television uh, back in the day. And I really enjoyed it. And it's just a shame they haven't done it on DVD yet. I don't know if it's on bootleg or what. I don't know. But uh, I'd love to find that film again. and Because uh, I was always uh, thinking about doing a figure, custom figure of the uh, Scarecrow from that film. Because he is pretty maniacal, you know. If anyone's seen that film, let me know what you think. Okay, this one's looking at Vampire in Brooklyn with uh, Eddie Murphy. And uh, Castle Freak, I've not seen that one. Another look at uh, Curse of Michael Myers, because that was big news at the time, it seems. Uh, Dust Till Dawn, that's number 148, guys. Okay, uh, way into the, <laughs> into the future now from that last one. Um, 160, well, it seems it looks a lot newer. The layout uh, covers Scream, The Relic, Mars Attacks, uh, Men in Black. Yeah, I remember seeing The Relic years ago. So, pretty good, pretty good film. Uh, I love Scream, I love Scream films. 
Okay, next up we got um, one that covers uh, Cry Wolf, Internet Stalker. We've had all, we've had them. I'm sure, there's uh, more than just me out there that's had an Internet Stalker in the past. Uh, so we know all about that film, how it feels. Uh, the Fog remake, which ain't worth bothering about. Underworld Two. Not really a big fan of the Underworld films. My sister likes them, but I just I couldn't get into them myself. Um, yeah, Godzilla: Final Wars, The Reaper, Exorcism of Emily Rose. Everyone's seen that one. So yeah, this one's looking obviously at the Descent Part Two. Uh, you've got a Survival of the Dead uh, segment as well. All the uh, Kids of Elm Street and the Creature of Darkness. I don't know what that one is. Looking at Burial Ground, which is also known as the Zombie Dead. Um, in the UK it's called The Zombie Dead, but I prefer that to title. Uh, pretty good film, you know, it's a bit cheesy and stuff, but uh, it's one I grew up with, you know. My dad always used to take the piss out of it, but I like it anyway. It's a pretty good film. Okay, this one's called Dark Star, guys. I don't know if anyone knows um, of this magazine, but I've only got one of these. My sister got me this because it's got um, a look at um, Fiend Without a Face, an old uh, British horror film there. Awesome film. I really like that one. Um, so, yeah. look. It does look mostly at comic books, but it is uh, there are some movie uh, interviews and articles and stuff in there so it is good but that's why she got it me because it's got that film in which is uh, pretty cool okay got some horror hound now uh, i guess uh, most of you guys in america know about this magazine especially if you're mad on horror like we all seem to be uh you'll know about this magazine i can't get this in the uk these were uh, sent to me from abroad so uh, well in america really uh, this one's looking at uh, the walking dead when it was starting up you know uh, looking at uh, Stephen King's films, well, mostly uh, Carrie Salem's Lot and The Shining. I love Salem's Lot. I do like The Shining as well, but um, I really enjoyed Salem's Lot. Uh, looking at Resident Evil and there's uh, more merchandise, horror merchandise and things. Really good magazines, these guys. Uh, if you haven't uh, checked any of them out, I uh, suggest you try and find some. I know they're hard to get now, though, so that's... Uh, that's the downer, you know, you might have to pay a bit to get the issues that you want. I, as I said, I've only got the ones that were sent to me, so. Looking at this one, I have to have this one, because uh, looking at uh, Vincent Price, 100th birthday, so uh, awesome. And got some awesome uh, advertisements on the back of them as well, like Alice there, the man, when he was doing his uh, gruesome twosome tour with Rob Zombie there. Awesome, love Alice. As you guys know, uh, looking at uh, Spit on Your Grave remake, which I don't really care for. I don't like films like that. Um, so I just skipped that bit. Um, obviously, as I, as I said, you know, this one's, for me, it's for the Vincent Price uh, goodness within, you know. I do like the, um, when it looks at the old video, you know, cover arts and things. I like things like that, you know, especially the video covers. I think... A lot of the videos actually have better covers than the DVDs they put out now. Okay, that's it for this folder, guys. Uh, just a little convention on the back there. So, I'm going to look at some other magazines now. I don't know if anyone's heard of Toxic Horror and Gore Zone, but I've got some of them that are in here. This is the last folder now, guys. So I've got number one of Toxic Horror, which is awesome. Looking at Freddy, Jason and Myers there on the new Freddy film. Well, at the time it was part five. So it's 1989. Basket Case, things like that. And uh, horror comics and stuff. I think there's some uh, Nightmare on Street comics in there. Got number two as well. Looking at Toxic Avenger 3. Uh, looking at uh, some of the Jason films as well. Uh, Nightmare on Street 5 again. Big news at the time because part four did so well. Okay, number three now, guys. This is 1990. Looking at Nightbreed. Again, there's some more Freddy in there. Basket Case 2, things like that. Um, spontaneous combustion as well. Okay, so, uh, yeah. That's number three. Number four now. Toxic Horror again. Looking at uh, Leatherface and what inspired the films. Like, obviously, Ed Gein, you know. There's other ones in there as well. Uh, 
more comic strip horror stuff there. Uh, Screaming Mad George interview and some of his artwork as well. Cool. These are really good. They they are just like uh, Fangoria. I think Fangoria owned or partly owned this magazine as well. I think. Uh, or was it this one? Gorezone. It's number four, guys. Looking at uh, Nightmare Four there. Uh, pretty cool. Waxwork there. American Gothic. Redneck zombies. <laughs> as you do. So yeah, Hellraiser 2 there. Awesome film. Okay, number one now. Number nine. Uh, looking at uh, what's it called now? The Laughing Dead. Apparently, not a very good film. I've read reviews about it. Uh, Henry. Anyone seen that one? Um, you would have two effects. And the sensors, you know, like the sensors are working with these horror films, cutting them to ribbons. Awesome. Uh, Go Zone, this one. Is a really good one for me because it's got a giant um, poster of Richard Lynch from Bad Dreams as Harris from Bad Dreams. So, love that one. So, um, similar to the, some of the Fangoria ones at the same time, you know, uh, Bride of Reanimator, Battle Case 2, things like that. And Linnea Quigley interview and stuff and films she's been in and things, you know. Okay, uh, that's it for them. This is a magazine called Fantasia. And uh, looking at Turtles, film Love Turtles, and obviously Total Recall there. It's number two. I'm not sure what number one's about, but uh, cover all things well. There's some horror in there as well. There's comics, Batman, things like that. The Batman movie, the uh, Michael Keaton one. And uh, lastly, guys, there's number Fantasia, number five. Looking at. Uh, Bride of Reanimator there, um, Nightbreed, really big at the time, Nightbreed, so yeah, Child's Play 2, things like that, looking at role playing games, and I'm not really into them, it's like the books and things like that, I'm not really into them, but you know, it's actually a cup of tea, good on you. Okay guys, that's it for the magazines um, and the folders, I uh, just want to show you a quick look at this Fangoria book, it's uh, Fangoria's Best Horror Films. My sister got me this uh, a few years ago now, and uh, it's really good. It collects some of the best articles from uh, Fangoria, and it puts them into this hardback book. Love the cover as well. You got the the greats. You got Myers, Jason, Freddy, Carrie, Leatherface, you know, Pinhead, Chucky. You got a Gremlin there. Good stuff. So, just a quick flick for it, guys. Sounds the Lambs, Lomo, Man, there, Dracula. Really big at the time, remember that film? Being really big. Looking at uh, behind the scenes and things. That's what most of it is, is behind the scenes. And interviews, you got the Vincent Price interview towards the end, which I love. Uh, you got like top 10 films of the 70s, 80s and 90s, which is pretty cool. Missed some films that I thought would have been in there though. Looking at Misery now. There. Dark man. There are some cool pictures in here, guys. Sorry, I'm just flicking through, but um, yeah, the video's gone on a while now. Looking at the Adams family, 90s films there. Yeah. Looking at Alien and Aliens. Cool photos, love them. Aliens are Ripley and Alien Tween. Uh, Alfred Hitchcock there, Horror of the 60s. Things like Black Sunday, you know, the uh, Hammer Phantom of the Opera with Herbert Long. The trying to general. Seventies now was Leatherface there, awesome. There's um, Humanoids from the Deep, which is 1980 really. I didn't like it in that one. Um, Rocky Horror. To Phantasm. Dawn of the Dead. Look on to the eighties now with Fly there. Freddy TV show. Well from London, the thing there, cool. So Patty Jason there, good stuff. Uh, H. P. Lovecraft uh, segment there, 
some of the films they've tried to make, you know, from his books. Pretty cool. Uh, Not Living Dead, looking at the original and the remake. Look at two of them. A bit of Dawn of the Dead in there. Not Living Dead comic book. That's Stephen King. Uh, Sleepwalk, I think, is that one? Can't remember. What about the cops, anyway? Clive Barker. Uh, some Nightbreed shots there. Cenobites. Clive Barker interview. Can Alien 3. Not my favourite Alien film, but uh, again, I like the first two. There, uh, I think Gremlins. Cool pictures. Terminator 2, awesome film. Awesome film. There. T1000 there. Coolness. Look at Total Recall. Yeah. <laughs> there not big on the remake. I'm not really big on remakes, really, guys. And there's the um, Vincent Price interview, which is awesome. Awesome. He's awesome. <laughs> cool. There's a man returns there. One of his uh, early films. 1940. So Robert England interview. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. And uh, Myers. Uh, it's about all the um, actors that played him. Which is cool. There, yeah, from different films, part two there. It's part five, you can tell I'm not really not liking that mask in part five. There's yeah, another part five shot there. Part two, love part two, and part one, obviously. Yeah. Okay, this is a diary, Kane Hodder's journal, uh, when they were making Friday the 13th, part eight. And I like part eight. I know there's some fans out there that really don't like that uh, movie, but I love it. Grew up watching it, so uh, big part of uh, my growing up, really. So it's nice to read, and there's deleted scene there. Uh, we got some arrows in the eyes that uh, the student boxer uh, who later died in the uh, sauna. I think that's how, that's how he originally died. Though he's just get arrows in his eyes. But they changed it. Um, yeah, progress on the uh, Hellraiser of Free there. Can the scenes and stuff. Good stuff. Do like part three. And that, my friends, is pretty much what it is. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed that, guys. No, it's a bit of a lengthy video. I just want to show you some of the books I've got on the magazines. I've got more horror books at home. Um, but I'll probably do them at a later time because there's so many of them, uh, like crime films and uh, biography books like Humphrey Bogart biography and uh, yeah, classic monsters and dinosaurs and ghosts and all that kind of stuff. Looking at uh, old and modern stuff. Uh, so I'll show you them another time. So I hope you've enjoyed the video again. If anyone wants to see any more of the uh, magazines in more detail, let me know and I'll do a video for you on them. Um, but until next time, guys, just... Uh, Take care and keep on rocking.